Hello friends, welcome to your own YouTube channel Achievers Data Engineering. My name is Gyanendra and in this video of Power BI Tips and Tricks, we are going to talk about how can we make navigation easy in Power BI reports. So if you are working on Power BI report where you have multiple pages, so along with having these tabs, you can help or you can uh, give an option to your end user to have some additional buttons on top of your report so that you can help them navigating on different reports or different pages within a report. Now it's kind of a common challenge if you are embedding your report. So maybe if you are embedding your report on any application or maybe on any web portal, then sometimes we, you know, kind of, uh, you know, face an issue where we do not see these pages over there. We just get to see the first page which we have embedded or the recent page that we have, you know, working on. Now, with uh, this, with help of these additional buttons, we can get rid of that situation and we can have those buttons on top of report and we can help end user to navigate on different reports. Now earlier we used to create these reports using some conditional formatting or maybe using bookmarks and selection. But uh, recently we have got a new option where it would be really easy to add a navigation button in Power BI. So how to do that? Let's get started. All right, guys, so now I am on a Power BI report where I have already set up uh, these buttons and you can see I have two pages in this particular Power BI report and I have created these two buttons on the top left. Now, if I go ahead and click on this button, it will take you like take me on another page that says month over month analysis and you can also notice once I am on this overview page then this overview button is highlighted and this one is grayed out and similarly once I'll go on another page this another button is getting highlighted and the first one is grayed out. Now uh, this kind of an very easy to navigate and the best thing about this is if you go ahead and add any another page for example i go ahead and add page one and once i'll go back on overview tab you will notice it will automatically add one more button so whatever go ahead if you can go ahead and rename it it will be automatically renamed and it will work based on a number of pages that we will be adding so you can see it is getting dynamically updated right so let's remove these pages as of now and let's see how can we actually create these buttons. So for now, let me just go ahead and delete them. So first of all, uh, let's talk about how actually we used to do it. So as of now, if you go ahead and click on add button and let me drag it over here. So earlier what we used to do, for example, I have added this button on overview page and I'll go ahead name it as uh, let's name it as go to mom page all right and then i can go ahead and select this button go on action expand it make it as page navigation and destination i can select month over month analysis now similarly i'll have to for example, this button will start working, but once I'll go on this particular page, I will have to add another button and set it to you know navigate on this particular page. Now, if you have, for example, five to six pages, then maybe you will have to, you know, on one particular page, you will have to add three or six buttons so that you can navigate on each page, right? You will get an option to navigate on a number of pages and you will have to these many buttons manually and you will have to configure them. And after like before publishing, if you end up deleting either one page, then you will have to delete those buttons from all the pages. So kind of an, you know, tedious task to do. But now the new option that we have got so far for that, what we can do, let's go ahead and click on buttons and under you will get an option to navigator. Under navigator, you will have an option that says page navigator and as soon as you will click on it it will automatically add these buttons for you now depending upon how many pages you have in the report you can go ahead and uh, like once you will click it will automatically add how many number of pages it will automatically detect and add that and in case sometimes 
if it is like not recognizing it correctly or you want to align these buttons in a shorter space then what you can do you can go into grid layout and you can adjust the padding right or you can also select for example if you go on I mean there are a number of options that you can switch in between you can say how many number of rows so it, it, it's kind of right now it's showing one row and you can define a number of rows so those buttons will be adjusted automatically so let's make it one and now when you talk about number of columns so it is kind of occupying the space of five columns so because we have only two as of now so I'll reduce it to two and those buttons will be arranged automatically so let's make it horizontal as of now again and let me put it to padding as five all right so now i haven't done any formatting i haven't done any you know linking between pages and i haven't you know done any other conditional formatting or you know actions for using buttons or bookmarks i have just added these buttons and if i go ahead and click on this one it, it will be it will take me already to another page now the best part of this is for example i don't have uh, any button on this the button that i have added over, over here i can select copy and paste it over here so a number of pages you have you can go ahead and copy the same and paste it on everywhere on your pages and it will detect the page and start working automatically so it's kind of very cool and very time saving option when it comes to navigating to multiple pages and as we discussed in the beginning if you are embedding your report on any web portal or in any application for your customer so sometimes we face that challenge that those pages doesn't appear or the recent page that we have modified only that appears on that embedded portal so in that situation to avoid that bug or avoid that issue that might come anytime you can have these buttons created and help your customers to navigate on pages within your report. So I hope it has given you enough understanding how can you use these navigation buttons on your Power BI report and take your user's experience to the next level when it comes to navigating on a report. So if you like the content, please do not forget to subscribe my channel to stay up to date on any latest video that I upload. Thank you for watching. Keep learning. Have a great day.